somehow starting with the default layout, let's customize it. If I were designing brushes, I'd open the brush controls that I need for a particular brush, in this case, a custom real watercolor brush. So let's go up to the window menu and choose brush control panels and come down here and open the real watercolor panel. Next, with real watercolor, I like to work with flow maps. So I'm going to go up to window and come down to flow map panels choose flow maps and then I also want to work with the dab profiles and so I'm going to open the brush controls and the dab profile and one more I'm going to come down to brush control panels and general palette drawer which gives me access to some of the other controls now that I have everything open that I need I'm going to choose window layout save layout and I'm going to name it custom to real watercolor click OK and if I go up to the window menu layout you'll see it down at the bottom custom to real watercolor because I already had one saved. Now it's easy to switch layouts and go back to the default layout and then we'll make our custom palette. Now let's make a custom palette with a couple of brushes and a texture. I want to make a custom palette with a couple of pencils so I'm going to open the brush selector and I'm going to choose the real 2B pencil. Now to make the custom palette magically appear I'm going to hold down the shift key on my keyboard and I'm going to drag off the real 2B pencil into the palette. I also want the real 6B soft pencil so I'm going to select that and I'm going to hold down the shift key again and drag it onto my palette. Now with these two brushes I want to have a texture so I'm going to choose the artist rough paper and I'm going to hold down the shift key again and drag it onto my palette. Now that I have the items that I want in my palette I'm going to go up to window custom palette organizer and you see custom 2 here I'm going to select that and I'm going to rename it and I'm going to call it custom 2 pencils and click OK. I can delete a palette if I no longer need it. I could save it as a box. I can export it as a PAL and I can also import other custom palettes. Now a box is a palette that preserves custom brushes, papers, patterns, and flow maps and places content into new libraries upon import. A PAL is a palette that is compatible with earlier versions of Painter but does not preserve custom content. Okay, now I'm going to click Done. And we have our custom palette with its new name. I wanted to point out that with layout, we can delete a layout if we no longer need it. And we can switch among any of the layouts that we have here in our list. In this video, we touched on customizing the interface of Painter 2019, including making a custom layout and making a custom palette. I hope you find this helpful to your artwork. Enjoy Painter and happy painting!